Hey guys, Sean, us of the Verdummies. Uh, this video is in response to Gregorio from East Coast Less Lethal. Uh, he just did a video um, demonstrating what a long barrel does compared to a short barrel. Um, he asked me to test BKs with uh, a Zeta Mag the other day, which I did, and sun shines on a dog's ass at least once a day or something like that. In any case, uh, they fired perfectly aside from the the last round that jammed which is um it's not even supposed to load let alone jam so um that has more to do with the follower spring being just really weak but what i didn't realize is that he was more interested in well heavier rounds uh i fired 8.1 grams bk's these are 10.4 that i have as close to his as i can get and heavier would make a difference, um, especially with a soft spring like this. So retest, do over with the heavy rounds. There's my dream look M17. Unfortunately, this is not attached yet, but I wanted to test with this barrel because he, uh, Gregory was saying, man, it's hard to give up that, that power with a longer barrel. So I wanna see what this barrel will do. This is, a 684 TIPX A5, big shot of salt, smooth. Uh, it was an eight inch. I cut it with a set of pipe cutters. I beveled the edge and used a deburring tool and I'm left with five and seven eighths. So, sorry, there is no hand guard on here besides my, my mock-up, but we'll load 10 rounds in here. You can see this is not even open. Sorry, DK, no offense. You know I'm just not a shape projectile guy, but I do keep them. And prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Okay, so we've got six. Eight. And ten. Oh, and I should show you. I always check my rounds first. No matter the manufacturer. Look how slow that moves. That's because my finger is in the end. Now, if I don't put my finger in the end, boom, works perfect. Okay, we'll load these up. One. Two, three. Oh, see how it kind of loaded funny? So you gotta make sure at least you correct that before you keep jamming rounds down there. That one might be, maybe it's a little fat. No, I just need to take more care in loading it. That's 10. Meg is not locked, or maybe it is. Oh, now it's locked. So I'm gonna pre-release it this time. So you do that right with this button right here. I see the rounds kind of dance up a little bit. Well, not really, because they're already in there pretty tight. So it's ready to fire. I don't have to release it again. Bottle filled to 3,000. This is 1,100 PSI. What will I do on the short barrel? Will Gregorio build a short barrel launcher? We shall see. All right, there we go. Obviously, this is fully kitted out with a home defense 24 kit, um, except the detent. I'm using a Whitson detent. Sounds like I have a slight leak. It's been a long time since I uh, changed to O-ring, a heat core O-ring in this, but we're gonna fire it anyways. 1100 on a short six inch barrel, 10.4 gram BKs. Three eighty, and my leak stops. Sometimes you just need to get that bolt moving and it'll 
Time to set your O ring. Three eighty eight. This thing is kicking like a mofo. And making holes in my new nylon. Oh, failure to feed. And it's probably because I'm using. Hmm. Looks like it's in there fine. Try it again. It really might need a heavy spring for these heavy projectiles, which is kind of why I want to retest. I didn't realize he wanted to know about the 10.4s. Hmm. Oh, that was close. 3.88, you get it? They are coming out of that little short barrel on 1100 fast. But another his feed. Yep. Okay. For kicks, I know my TIPX mag has a heavy spring in it. Let's see what it does. TIPX mag. Seven remaining shots. It'll only fire six. Let's see. Does it do better with a heavy follower spring? Not kind of chrono. See those holes that are happening right now? Oh, that's what uh, pointy stuff does. I think that was the last one. Yep. Should be one in here, as per SMG Magwell. Yeah, so Zeta Mags, they work with the 8 gram, but not with the 10 gram. You need a heavy, heavier follower spring. Um, I haven't opened one of these to see what I can put in there, but take note. <laughs>